Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and we're going into um, week two of Eternity of Pain. Um, this is the bargaining, this is the what third round of Eternity of Pain, so this is week two of the third round. Now I tried to I tried to go into the quest, and you might be having issues with this. Maybe maybe by the time you jump into the quest and stuff, this will all be fixed, but I tried to go in brand new and it just it wouldn't even let me click into the quest. So then I go in. I knew I knew Doctor Doom was gonna be a pretty easy solo, um, and I try to go in again after dropping Doctor Doom on my team, and I don't have enough resources apparently. Um, I'm not sure what I'm lacking in resources because I have a lot of resources: gold, units, battle chips, loyalty, ISO, you name it. But for some reason, I'm low on something. But restart, and then it lets me in. So. We got Craven up this week. It's got outside in, which is if you're away from him, far away for three seconds, um, you'll get a four second root on you. So you want to make sure you at least come in to close proximity to reset that timer um, occasionally. It's got Riot, which is going to make him start fully unblockable with a buff on him. If you throw a special, that unblockable will then turn into a unstoppable. And to remove the unstoppable, you have to heavy him. And then when you do that, it switches back to unblockable and just keeps toggling back and forth. It's got Matador, the only way you can gain power, even, even with like passive power gain champs, um, is by um, Craven throwing a special. So if he throws a special one or two or three, you'll gain a bar. If he throws a special three, you're, you're probably dead. Um, but you can only get one bar for every special he throws. And even if, even if he throws a special two, you still only get one bar. Um, and then return policy, if you nullify any of his buffs, he gets a full bar of power. And then defective defense, so if you take some blocks, um, you get the disorients on you and they're like 25% in the last 10 seconds. You can remove them if you dash back and hold block. But, you know, if you do that, he might come and attack you and then kind of... Um, you know, hammer away. So here, you see all his disorients on. Whew. Well, here we got him over into the corner, and then from here on out, it's just heavy spam. Um, now, you're going to notice several times in this fight that I actually don't get the shock. And I'm going to try to see if I can point him out. Like right there, I didn't get a shock. Um, I have a max Sig Doom. I'm really not certain why it was interacting like that, but there's going to be a few other times. Um, but. Like right there, he didn't he didn't get the shock again. Um, you know, I do have assassins, but we're not in assassins range, so I'm really not sure why the un the unblockable buff isn't always converting. Like there it is again into a shock on the heavy knockdown. But regardless of any of that, you do want to max Sig Doom to be re at least reliable. I mean, I guess I guess if it's not always converting in the corner to a shock and you can turn into a pass off, I guess you can still probably do it. Um, but if you have a max sig doom, it should work. See, like right there again, it, it it didn't give me a shock. And, you know, you have that shock there so that you can immediately convert it into a passive and then do the backhand. Um, but, I mean, there's not a lot going on here. Um, any doom can do this. I mean, my, mine's a rank four doom and it takes like 150 hits. So if you have a lesser ranked six star doom, still can work, just gonna take more hits. A five star doom, still can work. A four star, a three star doom, as long as you can get them over into the corner and just start slapping away, you're good to go. Um, not a lot going on in this fight um, because of this. So it, you know, I'm, I'm generally not like a fan of cheese fights like this, but I'll take it. I'll probably try to do some other um, champs later that are the defender guard um, tag and see how well um, others can do. I know, I think we had a guy in my BG3, he went in just recently and soloed with um, Strife. Um, and I really don't know the all the strategy behind like how he went about that, but he, he was able to solo. So if you don't have Doom, I mean, I'm, there, there are other options, but if you have Doom, and you just want a quick, easy in and out, um, he should do it. As long as you can just get over to that corner, you're good to go. And then here, I'm also not boosted or anything like that. I did get hit a few, a little bit at the beginning, 
I kind of wish I would have taken some more damage because I, if I would have been into courage range, I would have got an extra attack for my masteries to, to do this. But now we're in assassins and we're hitting a little bit harder. But yeah, Craven's gonna go down. This might not be the most helpful video, but basically get him over to the corner, give him the backhand and collect your one gold, collect your objective and you're, and you're good to go. So boom, there, one more, there we go, 10K to finish. So this, this completes the objective to take down um, Craven with the defensive guard tag. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it and I'll be posting my other couple solos here shortly and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.